Hello and welcome to just another car channel and today we're going to have a quick video with five tips and tricks to make your project cars orderly. Now what I'm talking about is if you live in a place with an HOA or if your city that you reside in has ordinances about inoperable vehicles, here are five things that you should probably look into to try and keep that off your back. So. I'm going to be primarily focusing on this right now. Um, let's not deal with that. Let's just cut that out. So, the first thing that you should probably do is if you have more than one, especially, is you should keep them in a row. Why? Well, if you keep them in a row and sort of present them in a way, it might be looked at as, okay, well... They have them out. They aren't, you know, keeping anything grody or whatnot. And, you know, sometimes just lined up, they might, you know, a little bit forgive it. Now, the second thing, and this I do, this for me is a big one. Keeping them looking nice. Now, I know that that might be like, okay, well, that's kind of hard with a project car. Well, I understand, but... This, it doesn't run, but if you keep the tires aired up, and if you have tires that go flat like this one, if you, let's say, put a board or something underneath the front axle that just makes it look like, you know, it has air in the tire, and keep it, you know, lifted up with this, I might jack it up and set the tires on board so it just looks a little bit better, you know? It's just one thing that's like, you know, it, it shows that you're trying to... You know, you're keeping them in sort of good-looking order, you know. Number three, keeping them clean. Like, keeping them wiped off and washed off. Because if you just, you know, let them sit and let them accumulate a bunch of dirt, well, then it's going to show that you don't have any regard for, you know, having them look nice, which will make everything else look bad. And then it just gets all gunky and whatnot so if you just keep them clean you know then sometimes it'll be like all right well at least they uh pay attention to them a little bit number four i do believe this is number four work on them because if people see you out here working on them they'll be like oh yeah you know if they understand they'll be like he's just trying to put it back together and get it going again you know, sometimes they will uh, forgive that too as you're trying to put it back together and, you know, everyone gets busy with some things. But, you know, don't keep like mm, four or five of them just because, like, I don't know, you want to. <laughs> but that's different. Number five, keep the area around them clean like you know we have pretty much dirt and some weeds but don't let weeds go around them because then it shows that you know you're not trying to you know you just you, you just leave it like meh whatever because it all kind of comes down to if you're trying to get it going well they're going to look at it different than you just having it sit there because and if you're going to have it sit there because you know Put a tarp over it or a car cover because then the other people won't have to worry about it and then you won't have to worry about it. And do note that I am not trying to say, oh yeah, this is going to guarantee you to not have to worry about it, but it's just some things that I've seen that have helped other people. So, with that, in conclusion, I do hope that maybe you found some, some of it enjoyable. Um, soon, though, the Datsun should be running with the rest of the channel. And this. Something might be happening with this. And I don't want to be called out and be like, oh, Supreme doesn't make key tags. Well, I don't think it's a... I, I, I don't know if it's a real Supreme one. So, besides that, it, it's for comic relief because it's, it's red. There we go. Have a great day. Do like and subscribe. Um, share this with anyone who might have the same problem. And share this with people who have a project addiction. Like so. Thank you. Have a great day.